Hello YouTubers and welcome to Novus Talks with me your host Novus Gorbis. So I know it's been a long time since I've recorded a video. See I've been quite busy a lot lately and it took me a while to upload that Super Smash Bros Ultimate review so I do apologize for that. Uh, but I'm back now anyway and I hope to record videos a bit more often. I do have a review of a game I've been playing recently that I do hope to record soon. I was actually originally planning to do that first, but uh, earlier on, funny enough, the all the thoughts I wanted to do for this video, this Transformers video, sort of came into my head. So I was like, I decided I'd get this over the way, out of the way. So first of all, um, as you know by the title, you might be wondering what I mean is the Transformers movies finished. And what I mean by that is, um, to explain, we'll, we'll go back and we'll track the development uh, since the beginning. You see, uh, when the first Transformers came out, they weren't fully sure if they were going to do a sequel. Oh, me. Oh, sorry. Uh, they weren't fully sure if they were going to do a sequel. You see, uh, they were waiting to see what the box office numbers would be like. And when it came back with, I think, well over half a billion, I think, uh, they decided there's quite a, a profit to be made here. So they went ahead with Transformers 2. And they, when they were sort of setting up the story for that one, the whole thing about the Primes and the Fall, and they didn't want to go too much into detail about it because they weren't sure if they were going to do a third one. Um, so that's why when Transformers 3 came out, it sort of felt separated from 2. It didn't really fully... Um, Feel like it was together. Both movies felt like they were standalones in that sense. Uh, and then Transformers 3 sort of tied up the story and killed off some of the main uh, villains. So that kind of felt like it was the end. But a couple of years later, three years later to be exact, they came back with Transformers 4. Uh, new casts, new human cast, and some new robot cast. And then they were sort of thinking about um, planning on sort of soft rebooting the franchise going forward. If Transformers 4 was successful, they would do a 5 and 6. Only if it was successful. Uh, lo and behold, Transformers 4 made uh, 1.1 billion, I think. And so, the second highest grossing film, uh, quite. It got them to decide they wanted to continue with the franchise. So, and here's where things start to get a bit more complicated. Because up to this point, it's just been movie, 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 movie. Now they've done a bit of planning. After Transformers 4, uh, they started getting Michael Bay put together a writer's room of, I believe, 14 writers to collect different uh, ideas and to put them together to make, uh, to plan out the future, to make a Transformers cinematic universe like Marvel, uh, so they didn't have to keep doing one movie one after another. Um, so what they came up with was in, I think it was March of 2015, when the writer's room was together. Uh, they had 10 movies planned for release every single year. Uh, they had Transformers 5 for 2017, uh, Bumblebee for 18, Transformers 6 for 19, the animated uh, Cybertron movie called Transformers 1, I believe, was 2020, and then the uh, G.I. Joe crossover 2021, and beyond that, I don't really know. But they had that all planned out anyway. And the writers behind The Last Night, as you know, got together three different movie ideas of a, a King Arthur movie, a World War II movie, and Transformers, and mixed them together. But anyways, so that happened. Uh, Transformers 5 came out. Massive disaster on Paramount's behalf. It was it made half a billion, so it technically it wasn't really a failure, but I suppose with the cost of the writer's room, they considered it a failure. And so all plans for their sequels were scrapped, and the only reason Bumblebee was saved as I explained before, was because they were already getting ready to film Bumblebee by the time they announced that they were scrapping all these movies. Um, so Transformers 5 ended on a cliffhanger where we see Quintessa and Unicron, well, Quintessa in the desert with Unicron's horns, talking to the humans about how she has a plan to kill him. And then that's left up in the air. And so if that wasn't... Um, complicated enough, Bumblebee, which came out in December, 
uh, they don't even know what this movie is because, you know, to me, anyone who watched this movie, it's pretty fucking obvious that it's a prequel. But anyways, uh, this whole debate is going on with the prequel reboot thing and even internally they don't know what they're doing. But the ending was like a double-edged sword, you know, it, half it sort of ends with you thinking it's a prequel, but then there's the whole thing with Optimus Prime and the other seven Autobots coming down to Earth at the post credit scene. And so it's very confusing as to, I mean, it can sort of figure out how that ties in, but at the same time, they don't really know themselves. And so now we have that cliffhanger ending and the ending of The Last Night. And so where did it go from here? Like what happens next? They said if Bumblebee was successful, they would continue. And that seems to be, Bumblebee was successful. So what happens now? First of all, uh, the first thing about Bumblebee being successful, they said they would do a sequel. And more recently, and this is where the debate has got kind of complicated, uh, they would, they're would saying in a Japanese interview, Lorenzo de Bonaventura said um, they were going to do a Bumblebee sequel, which originally everyone was expecting an Optimus Prime movie. And that kind of made sense based on how some of the, how his story sort of ran parallel to Bumblebee in the movie, but... No, it, it turned out actually, because that was too complicated to do, and I think they made the right choice, as much as I love Optimus Prime, the story would be too confusing, because you can't really do Orion Pax since it's already been established he was Nemesis Prime before he became Optimus in the movie, so it's, you couldn't really do an origin story for him without complicating it, or miss, um, sort of miss telling the story to the audiences, but... They said they would do a Bumblebee and Optimus sort of buddy movie, which works. Um, and they also said it would have like more sort of romance among the robots, which was a new and sort of strange thing for them to say. In that very interview, he said as well, uh, they were going to do a Transformer 6 next. His exact words, they were going to do a follow-up to The Last Night. The next big Transformers movie will be a follow-up to The Last Night. Now... It then came out then that there was a mistranslation with that and then it was suddenly saying actually the next movie after Bumblebee would be a reboot but Bumblebee isn't a reboot uh, that they weren't doing Transformers 6 but then he came out more recently the last bit of info we heard he was saying he was asked if it was a prequel or reboot he said it was neither that it was just a spin-off set before the first Transformers and they hadn't decided what the first Transformers would be. So basically, if you remove all that complicated nonsense, it is a prequel. But they're still debating it internally, and of course the fans are still debating. So yes, very up in the air at the moment, if there will ever be in a, what the next Transformers movie will be. Uh, that bit of info was, I believe, around March the 9th, so it's nearly two months since we've heard anything. And, you know, I'm beginning to think, you know, I almost don't want another one, uh, another Transformers, because, you know, they don't really know what they're doing and they're just going to mess up everything further if they don't fully sit down to really actually plan out properly this time what they're going to do. Uh, so I think, for better or for worse, the Transformers movies are going to disappear for a, quite a while. Much like how Saw disappeared for, like, seven years after Final Chapter, and then... Uh, I think Terminator went away for like four years and Halloween was gone away for a, a large number of years as well. So I feel like that's the fate for Transformers. And, you know, as, as sad as that is, it, it, it seems like the right thing to do because if it goes away for four or five years, you know, they have time to fully plan and come up with a strategy for what the hell they're actually going to do. Now, you may be, the downside to this is that Transformers has always been a franchise that struggles. Uh, the movie struggle in terms of uh, getting sort of audience support so if it goes away now right after Bumblebee came out obviously people are not really going to care when it comes back because so many other different movies would have done some of the same things as Transformers and people would get that entertainment from somewhere else so if it goes away when it comes back it might struggle a bit so they might have to do another movie like Bumblebee to sort of remind people why this franchise is worth supporting um but yeah if, if that what ha if that's what has to be done that's what has to be done now in terms of what they could do in terms of stories um 
But the last night, it's it's sort of complicated. If they, I do believe they'll do a Transformers six. Like they were suggesting in that Japanese interview, whether mistranslation or not, that a Transformers six would not be a direct sequel, but that it would tell a, it would be different characters and different story. It would probably ignore Unicron, but it would still be a sequel. And I think that works, even though I personally love Quintessa as a character. She wasn't really well developed, but she was interesting, and I was intrigued to see where that would kind of go it would be for the better if they did kind of avoid that but if they were to pick that up like what would they do and i have a reasonable idea based on some images that came out in the special features uh for the writers room in the last night's dvd you see in the background some of the posters for uh some of the things they've drawn up and one of their concepts that i believe was for transformers 6 because it sort of fits the idea of that was uh Onyx Prime to be the villain and that his ship had crashed on Earth at some point in history. He was banished by Alpha Trion and they mentioned some of the other Primes. Now this course contradicts Transformers 2 but when you think of the Primes and Unicron that's always gone together in Transformers lore so it makes sense with if they were sort of trying to retcon that in a way to sort of bring it together for this story. Now what I believe that would actually mean was that if they were to do a Beast Wars type story, maybe he crashed during the Ice Age, uh, the explosion caused the Ice Age, and he has some relic that could kill Unicron or something. And maybe he was banished because he was going to destroy a planet with life, something like that. And that Quintessa knows all of this, she wants this. Uh, that's what I believe would uh, have been the story, because that just seems to me the obvious thing, because it still ties in with the relic hunting theme of these movies. Um, but yeah, other than that, no other way of telling. And as for Cybertron, the Autobots, how all of that comes in, because it was, re it was really strange. When I first saw The Last Night, it didn't appear to me as a film that was starting a universe. It seemed like it was the conclusion, as you know. Uh, even if you ignore the post credit scene, you have Cybertron was sort of partially restored. The Autobots all left Earth. The war with the Decepticons was over. Megatron was maybe possibly dead so you know bumblebee could talk somehow and yeah all the questions were sort of answered so there was no real uh reason to continue it so in some ways the last night kind of was a conclusion uh, but as for bumblebee this is way more tricky if we take it to be a prequel which i will because there's just no way this movie's a re uh, reboot because it ties too much into the other movies but you know how that all ties into the first movie as Lorenzo explained was that Optimus coming to Earth the Autobots maybe they'd um, something would happen anyway they'd leave by the end of the next movie uh, maybe they'd discover somehow that the Allspark was on Earth and about uh, the Witwicky glasses and all of that and that would lead into the first Transformers where they came to Earth because the very opening line of the movie uh, Optimus Prime did say that a new discovery drew them to earth so obviously something did happen there is sort of a an unanswered question maybe not too important i'm probably looking into it too much but that could be something they could address and it, if they were to do an optimus prime movie they could start it from the point of where he escaped after the the final battle on cybertron where he's like surrounded by like everyone and how the hell he escaped that uh, and then you could do it like his story right up until he joins Bumblebee on Earth. And then, you know, with the sequel, uh, somehow the other Autobots will either die or leave Earth and then Optimus leaves for whatever reason, Bumblebee stays behind it. It's very difficult because there's nothing to go on because, you know, they don't really know if it's a reboot or not. Now, the whole reason Bumblebee came to Earth was to establish a base, and this does contradict, you know, the movies because... There were always Autobots here throughout history, so they wouldn't need to have set up a base. So that is a small contradiction in the favour of a reboot. But I think that's just more something they overlooked rather than something they wanted to avoid. So if they're here to establish a base, you know, what caused them to leave? You know, there's, it's very difficult to sort of plan out because they could literally... It's very open, you know, if they... We don't even know what the movie is, as I said, so... It could be anything. 
Now, as for when we could see the next movie, uh, to me, just based on the last night's development, I would believe right now, based on the interviews as well, they seem to be trying to write some sort of a script, unsure of what that script is. I believe, and I, as I said, based on the whole process with the last night, they would have this, if it was to come out by 2021, we'll say, they would need a script between now and October, and then from October to February, we'll say, they'd sort of be looking for a director, then February to April looking for a cast, and then from uh, April to, let's say, the end of May, they'd be sort of scouting for locations. End of May, beginning of June, right up to November, they'd be filming the film, and then it would come out then in 2021. Now, that's if a movie is coming. As I said, we haven't heard anything in a while, and it seems to me that it's very much dead. They do seem to want to make a movie, but they don't know what movie to make. They don't even know what they're doing. They don't even know what they can do. They have the material. They certainly have the mythos to do it, but the ideas from the writer's room don't really seem to fit in well. They don't really want to tie it all together, so, you know, I don't know. And as the Rage Nation, someone I watch, uh, some of you might know me as a well-known Transformers YouTuber, he, just, he did point this out that if they did want to do Unicron properly as a planet-eating Transformer, they could say, they could just rename it as Primus or something, since they never use that name in the movies. And of course, the movies have a habit of renaming characters, such as Starscream to Blitzwing, main example. Um, but they do seem to hate the idea of Unicron, which makes me wonder why the hell they put him in the last night in the first place. Probably for fan service. So, yeah. All I can really say is the franchise is really at a dead end at this point. Unless they come up with something in the next few months, I believe maybe the Transformers will sort of disappear for, I'd say maybe four years at the most. I don't think it'll be beyond that because they do want to make a movie and they do seem to be sort of trying to think of what they can do. But, you know, who really knows? It's it's a very tricky situation and the debate as to what the hell the next movie is going to even be is still there. But yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. There really isn't anything else to add to it. Um, let me know your thoughts down the comment section below. Um, what do you think the next movie will be? Will there be a Transformers 6? Will it deal with Unicron and Quintessa? Uh, will they, what will the sequel to Bumblebee be? Is Bumblebee a prequel or a reboot? I know most of you will say reboot. And, you know, we can debate that if you wish. Um, so yeah, uh, let me know down below and uh, uh, like and share and subscribe and all that. So yeah, I hope to get my next video out soon. And uh, I'll probably begin recording that very soon. So thank you all for watching and uh, please subscribe. Nova Scores out.